Your comrades, I hiding from wife and kids in upstairs bedroom in my house. Many of you reach, and tonight is beer night. Thank you so much for joining me for episode number two of my show about beer, the most raw, real, unfiltered show about beer that exists. We're gonna jump right in and mention the uh, winner of last week's trivia question. The winner was Crisadvo. I'm doing my show right now. Come on, no. Okay. Please. Okay, I'll be down in a minute. Sorry about that. I wear the pants in this family, just so you know that. This doesn't usually happen like that. So. Nothing. I'll be down in a minute, okay? Uh, where were we? Uh, so the trivia question last week was, what was the Pawner Brewery turned into in the year 1799? And the answer was a penitentiary. And uh, Chris, Chrisadvo, congratulations, you got the answer right. We'll do another question at the end of this episode. A couple of comments from last week's episode. Uh, one good one, a few good ones. Gabriel said, good video, very informative. Thanks, Gabriel. Uh, a critical comment, which I love. Oren said, a wet band-aid and it's still got an 85. Uh, so yeah, the, the, you know, the, the beer smelled a little bit like a wet band-aid, but it still tasted really, really good. So I gave it an 85. Um, but please keep up the comments and please subscribe if you, if you like these videos. All right. So tonight's beer, in case you can't read over my shoulder or in case you're illiterate is Baltica. Baltica number seven export lager. 5.4% alcohol. If you haven't figured out where it's from yet, you're not really smart because we've been making all sorts of uh, references to Russia, but yes, it's from Russia. And uh, low on the uh, international bitterness unit scale, so it's probably not a very bitter beer. But where'd they get the name Baltica from? Well, the Baltic Sea, of course, which is that body of water near some of those old Soviet republics like Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, St. Petersburg is on the Baltic Sea, as well as some of the Scandinavian countries. Um, the brewery, Baltica Brewery, is relatively new for breweries. It started in 1990, as the Soviet Union was collapsing. So, rising from the ashes of the fallen Soviet Union came not a democratic free Russia with civil liberties for all, but a brewery to make beer, because that's what the Russian people needed. Enough of vodka, right? Um, so then, if you don't think this is a big deal, you know, you don't see it around a lot of the states, they're huge in Asia and in Europe. So big that their, their brewery in St. Petersburg, it's like a campus. It's bigger than the Vatican. That's a pretty big brewery. So, uh, what's up with the number seven? Number seven export logger. So, Baltica's the brand, the brewery. And uh, they make a zero, number one, number two, number three, all the way up to number nine. Zero is their non-alcoholic beer. One is their light beer. Um, seven is their premium export lager. But, you know, they, they, they try to help us out on their website by describing what kind of person drinks each of the different numbers of beer. So I just wanted to read to you what, uh, what, what kind of people drink the number seven, which we're about to drink. So tell me if you think this applies to you. So if Baltica says that if you're drinking a number seven, you know that you're capable of achieving more in life. So like maybe you have a lot more to do. You haven't accomplished what you're supposed to. And by drinking more Baltica number seven, it will enable you to, to strive for the best and to make new achievements. So get drinking here. I think the message is the more you drink, the more you achieve. Maybe that's why there's a drinking problem in Russia. So let me know if you think that applies to you. If you think that you have more to achieve in life, tell me in the comments. I personally don't think it applies to me because 
I've achieved so much in life, uh, so much that I have a YouTube channel with 17 subscribers where people watch me drink beer by myself in a room. So uh, it's not for me. It doesn't apply to me, maybe you guys, but all right, enough talking. Let's go ahead and uh, open this thing. So, you know, I, I like how it's got the, it's got the Russian letters on there. That's pretty cool. Um, and it's got a little pull tab. It's kind of an interesting, Look at that, it kind of peels back. How the hell do you get this open? There we go, all right. Someone's gotta cut themselves on that. Let's get a pour out of this thing here. This is a Pilsner glass. I actually just got it in the mail today. And uh, that's what you wanna use when you're drinking a, a pale lager, which is what this is. All right, look at that. We don't want it to go over here, but Let's take a look at the color on that. That has got a ton of head on it. Is that like a three finger head? Um, I would call that like a like a straw color, like a hay or a straw color. I don't know if that helps or not, but it's actually a very nice, nice, very light looking uh, beer. So some of the things that people say they smell and taste in, in a Baltica number no. seven are uh, soap, Lemon, floral smells, bread or biscuit, honey, grass, and corn. So let's go ahead and give this thing a, a smell. And I'm gonna, let's see what we can smell here. Definitely like a sort of a light soapiness, but not soapiness like in a gross way. Soapiness kind of like, I feel like Heineken kind of has like a soapiness to it. And I actually like that, but. It is very kind of like citrusy a little bit. Um, yeah, maybe like a little bit of the bread. Yeah, let me kind of circle some of the things. I do smell like a little bit of the bread, maybe slight, slight lemon citrusy, definitely soapy. It, it could smell sort of like a cut grass, sort of like a grassy thing. I don't smell really any sweetness in it. Maybe that'll be in the taste, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, taste this and see see what it tastes like. It's kind of watery. Um, the carbonation doesn't hit me hard like the like the beer did last week. Um, yeah, it's kind of a. Uh, there's not a lot of, just not a lot, of, not a lot of flavor to it. Let me... Yeah, maybe it's kind of like a wet papery, like a like a wet cardboardy taste to it. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm, as my mom would say when she doesn't like something. I'm not crazy about it. Yeah, I mean it's it's watery, kind of watery. What do you guys think? Yeah. So, yeah, I feel I feel like it it if it, it wants to be better, it, like it wants to be better, and it's mad that it's not better, like it's striving to be a better logger, but like it, like it's resentful. I feel like if I had to put a human emotion on it, it's resentful. Like maybe the way a husband is resentful if his wife won't let him out of the house to have a beer with his friends. Or maybe the way Russian athletes are resentful of the Olympics committee because they're wrongly accused of doping and cheating. That kind of resentment. But all right. I'm gonna give this um, I'm gonna give this it's it's kind of it's it's got a dry and it doesn't it does not have a good aftertaste. I'm just gonna say it's sort of like a bleh aftertaste. I'm giving this a 40. 40 out of hundred. Vladimir Putin, please don't come kill me. But that's what I think of Baltica number seven, a 40. Not crazy about it. Okay, let's do the trivia question for this week. Here it is. At the beginning of this video, there's a series of pictures of Russian leaders. Who was in the first picture? That's the question. Who was, in the who was that Russian leader in the first picture there? Answer it, be the first one to answer it in the comments and your name's gonna be up there forever. Okay, comrades, next week's beer. We are coming to America, comrades. We are going to California. We're gonna drink a stone IPA. We're gonna make it hoppy around here in this place. 
it's time to have some uh, some some bitter happiness in this in this room, and uh, this I think this is going to be the one to do it. So Stone IPA, go get yourself one. I got mine at Whole Foods. They probably have it at Central Market or any other place where yuppies hang out, craft beer kind of people. So go get one of those. Let's taste it. Uh, man, thank you so much for watching episode number two of my show. I sincerely appreciate you for watching it. Please subscribe, please leave comments, and remember, no matter where you are in the world, even in communist North Korea, if you like beer, you always have a friend right here in Plano, Texas. Ubidimsia nasle dushi nidiela. Spokoine noche, comrades. This sucks.